A pipe wrench, once discarded as scrap and considered beyond repair, is restored to its original working condition, returning to service as if it had never been broken. A thick steel billet is roughly marked with lines so that the damaged section of the wrench can be reconstructed from it. Due to the thickness of the metal sheet, the most effective method for cutting it is by applying high-pressure thermal shearing. In this cutting process, oxygen and a flammable gas, such as acetylene, are used. After several cutting stages, the workpiece returns to its original shape and is mounted on a lathe, where the necessary machining is performed. After cutting, due to the presence of metal burrs adhering to the workpiece, the surface is subjected to a grinding process to remove these burrs from the body of the piece. To secure the workpiece to the lathe, a pipe is welded onto it, allowing it to be easily mounted onto the lathe chuck. Both ends of the pipe are mounted onto the lathe machine so that the workpiece is securely fixed, allowing the machining process to begin. After machining the inner edges of the workpiece to level and smooth its surface, it is prepared for cutting teeth for the wrench fitting and threading to adjust the opening of the wrench jaws. The opening of the wrench is precisely marked using a caliper, ensuring that the grooves and teeth are machined with very high accuracy. And this marks the completion of the grooves on the wrench jaw. The workpiece is remounted on the machine in reverse, allowing the outer part of the piece to be machined and made smooth and uniform. After completing the machining of the outer part of the workpiece, which was done to level and smooth the piece, any remaining metal burrs are removed using a file to ensure a clean surface. The 
The workpiece is removed from the machine again, and the part that connects to the machine is detached so that the piece can be mounted in a different orientation for the next stage of work. In this stage, the movable part of the wrench jaw is machined until it becomes perfectly rounded. The machined part is measured to reach the required thickness for threading. The threading process on the workpiece body begins, and after several repeated stages and measurements, it reaches the required size. Following multiple tests and adjustments, the threading machining process is completed. The workpiece is removed from the machine and mounted on another machine so that the edges of the wrench jaw can be machined, achieving a better and more refined shape. All excess material on the workpiece is cut and machined from all sides. The finished part is ready for final testing. The piece is mounted on its corresponding section to ensure that all machining stages have been correctly completed. The workpiece is heated thoroughly and then rapidly quenched in cold water to cool it down. This process, known as hardening, increases the durability of the part and is, by itself, a complex and fully technical procedure.
After lighter standard surface grinding, the workpiece is ready for the next stage, painting. The painting process here is not very complex, and since our wrench is repaired and not a new piece, a simple spray paint is used. The wrench handle is repainted to ensure that its repaired section is completely blended in. The finished part and our repaired wrench are reassembled, making it ready for use. Friends, if you enjoy this type of content, you can support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends, as well as subscribing to our channel. We would be happy to hear your thoughts on this video, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.